फाइंड द क्यूब रूट ऑफ सेवन फोर जीरो डबल एट टू फाइंड द क्यूब रूट फर्स्ट वी शुड डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ इट सो लेट एस डू सो दैट इज सेवन फोर जीरो डबल एट नाउ फॉर दिस नंबर लास्ट डिजिट इज एट विच इज ई वन सो वी टेक टू हियर नाउ फर्स्ट नंबर इज सेवन आ नंबर क्लोज टू सेवन इन टू टेबल इज टू थ्री सिक्स सेवन माइनस सिक्स इज वन वन कैरिड फॉरवर्ड मेकिंग इट फोर्टीन when do we get 14 in two table 2 sevens 14 this zero as it is down next is 8 when do we get 8 in two table 2 fours 8 again 8 so 2 fours 8 now for this number last digit is 4 which is even so we take two here first number is 3 a number close to 3 in two table is 2 ones 2 3 minus 2 is 1 1 carried forward making it 17 A number close to seventeen in two table is two eight sixteen. Seventeen minus sixteen is one one carried forward making it ten. When do we get ten in two table? Two five ten. Next number is four. Four is two two four. Next number is four two two four. Now, for this number last digit is two, which is even. So we take two here. First number is one. One smaller than two, so we take two number that is eighteen. When do we get eighteen in two table? Two nines eighteen. Next number is five. A number close to five in two table is two two four. Five minus four is one one carried forward making it twelve. When do we get twelve in two table? Two six twelve. Next number is two. When do we get two in two table? Two ones two. Now for this number, last digit is one, which is not a one. So this is not divisible by two. Next prime number is three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is nine plus two plus six plus one. We get eighteen. Is eighteen divisible by three? Yes. so this number also divisible by 3 so he, first number is 9 when do we get 9 in 3 table 3 3 is 9 next number is 2 2 smaller than 3 so we should take two numbers that is 26 whenever you take two numbers compulsory you should put zero many forget this you should not forget okay next Now a number close to twenty six in three table is three eight twenty four. Twenty six minus twenty four is two two carried forward making it twenty one. When do we get twenty one in three table? Three sevens twenty one. Now, for this number last digit is seven so not a one so this is not divisible by two. Next prime number three. To check divisibility by three for that we should add the digits. That is three plus zero plus eight plus seven. We get eighteen. Is eighteen divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. Now first number is three. When do we get three in three table? Three ones three. Zero as it is down. Next is eight. A number close to eight in three table is three to six. Eight minus six is two. Two carried forward, making it twenty-seven. When do we get twenty-seven in three table? Three nines twenty-seven. Now last digit is nine, so not divisible by two. So you add the digits one plus zero plus two plus nine is twelve. Twelve divisible by three, so this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. First number is one. One smaller than three, so we take two numbers. That is ten. A number close to ten in three table is three three is nine. Ten minus nine is one one carried forward making it twelve. When do we get twelve in three table? Three four is twelve. Next number is nine, so three three is nine. Now for this number last digit is three which is not a one, so this is not divisible by two. Next prime number is three. 
for to check divisibility by 3 for that we should add the digits that is 3 plus 4 plus 3 we get 10 10 not divisible by 3 so this number also not divisible by 3 next prime number is 5 the last digit is neither 0 nor 5 so this number is not divisible by 5 next prime number is 7 to check divisibility by 7 for that we do this 343 by 7 here we have 34 number close to 34 in 7 table is 7 fourths 28 34 minus 28 is 6 6 carried forward making it 63 7 9 63 so this number is divisible by 7 7 49 times 343 now 49 is 7 7 so now 7 is a prime number so we take 7 ones 7 so now 7 4 0 double 8 is equal to the product of these numbers That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7. Okay, so far next. Here we have to find the cube root. So you take cube root on both sides next now for the cube root we have a property that is whenever a number is present three times inside the cube root that number will come out of the cube root and it will be written only once i repeat number inside the cube root present three times it will come out of the cube root and it will be written only once Next, here we have number 3 present 3 times, it will come out and it will be written only once. Next number is 7, 3 times present it will come out and it will be written only once. No more numbers are left in the cube root. So we are left with this. So now you multiply this, 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 7 42. And on this side we have cube root of 74088 equal to 42 this is our answer am i clear